Sometimes we need to quote somebody, whether it's a book passage or something somebody said on a different blog. There's a lot of different uses. Think of it just when writing a normal article with pen and paper. There are some times when you need to quote somebody, and we can do that within HTML as well by using what's known as the block quote element. Now within here, this is a way to tell the browser anything within here is a quote. So why don't we reference an Einstein quote? I have pulled up a list of some of his quotes. Let's just get one of these. So within here, it is a paragraph. So I'm going to make sure that I add a P tag, paste it in, and close out my paragraph as well. And remember what we learned about indentation. It's a good practice to make sure we indent so it's easy to tell that this paragraph is a child of the block quote. Good. So let's save that and view it in the browser. So if I view it, it may not look like anything special to you, and that's okay because remember, if you were expecting maybe big, shiny quotation marks or at least the text to be italic, that's not what markup is about. Markup does not specify formatting or font weight or font style. It's simply to describe your content, and that's something you always need to remember. So you might be thinking, well, why would I ever use that? It's just as easy to do this I get the same effect and it's less markup. And it's because we are describing our content and that is equally important, whether it be for screenwriters or for future proofing our markup. So let's save that. And if I view the source, once again, you can go to view, developer, source, or I always press control command U on the Mac. And now we have given the browser some understanding as to what this specific content is. So just remember if you're writing a blog posting, if you're doing a website, anytime you need to provide a call out. And it's again a nice way when creating blog postings to divide your content. Once again, if we refer to NetTouch, you can see that we use block quotes like so. Let's check it out. Inspect element. And once again, you can see that it is wrapped within a block quote. And within here, we have our quote. And then we're using styling or cascading style sheets to make the text italic, to add a quotation mark here to make it look like a quote. But the markup alone is simply a block quote with the paragraph tag in it. 